All right, for this video, I'm just going to show you a basic woolly bugger. Just marabou, just hackle, just chenille, nothing else. And I'm going to show you how to use those to tie like a perfect bugger with nice tapered hackle, uh, nice uniform tail, and then you can run with it however you want. But this is the way to tie a perfect woolly bugger every time. Okay, the woolly bugger. For a lot of people, this is the first fly you've ever tied. It was for me. Sitting in the call center, my woolly bugger was absolutely atrocious. It looks like Brigham tied it left-handed. But anyway, mine was yellow tail, blue body, red hackle, or something like that. But it was the coolest thing ever. But we're going to show you just one way there are a bunch of different ties, ways to tie a bugger but this is an absolutely clean way to tie buggers and you can uh, morph this into a whole bunch of different flies but we're just going to show you the bare bones simple way to do a bugger three materials and we will do it starting now i'm going to use some six aught thread this is the semperfly six aught thread i want it to just be a little bit beefier there's nothing really about a bugger that needs beefier thread but why not use thicker thread if you're tying a bigger fly? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of dress the hook. This part's not super, super critical. Sometimes it can help the material so they don't, you know, slide around. Then a bunch of different ways you can use marabou. So here I have a black marabou feather. Here you have the tips. There are the, the side pieces here that move really well. And I'm just going to show you the way to tie it in just using this tip section of the woolly bugger, okay, or of the, the marabou. The first thing I like to do is I like to find this little section right here where, where the stem goes up through, and I just grab onto that fella right there and I just pull it out. So now when I line all those feathers up, you're not going to see that little stem poking through and all the feathers look nice and uniform. So the other thing is if I'm just going to use the, the, the tips of this, all this stuff up here is just going to kind of be waste. Now, in on normal circumstances, this is what I would be using for a lot of buggers. So you can save it or whatever, um, but we're not going to use it in, in this style of tying the bugger. So what I'm going to do is I'll just preen the, these feathers down and I'm going to measure the tail so that it's <clears throat> roughly the same length as the, the overall length of the fly. This might be a little bit bigger, but that's fine. So I'm just going to use the pinch technique to put that on the hook and I'm going to pinch my, my thread down all in the same spot. So I just did three turns all in the same spot. Most woolly buggers that are, are poorly tied have really bad body taper or really bad you know bumps in the body because of like I guess you could call it careless tying in of materials. So here's one way to prevent that. Usually people will come in here and they'll just chop that off right here and it creates a bump of marabou. So the way to get rid of that, just lift your marabou up, take your thread to the front of the fly and then grab your marabou with the other hand and then tie it off up here. Okay. Now, if I take this, trim it off and then just take my thread and wrap it back to where my tie-in point is, I have a very nice, even, uniform body that I can put my chenille over the top of. So I'll just go ahead and wrap that down a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfect. All right, I have the, the tail all tied in here. I'm going to take a, the chenille that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to preen off some of those fibers. This is actually a really well-made chenille because it's hard to get to the core. But you can see those little tiny core fibers right here. That's all I'm going to tie in on this one. So just trap that down four or five turns and now I'm going to pull out my hackle and just pick one of the biggest gnarliest hackles from the back of it like this okay so you have pretty good taper to tie this in though typically with hackle you tie it in on the butt or on the base but we're going to tie it in by the tip the easiest way to find a tie-in point for that is to hold your hackle like this and just preen your feathers down to about right there. And as you can see, there's like a little break between where I've preened it back 
and where it looks like a normal feather, that's right where I'll tie that in. Quick tie or tip, Spence, how to tie in hackle by the tip. Let's do it. Okay. Well, we can just do that like later. We can yeah, yeah. get a bunch of, yeah, so. All right, so hackle's tied in. I'm just going to take my chenille and wrap my chenille forward. Sometimes with this stuff, you have to coax it a little bit to, to flare out. All right. So chenille's wrapped in. Um, before we get too far into it, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to throw a whip finish here so that I can really get into this hackle and wrap it right. Um, so from here, I'm just going to take my, my hackle and I will wrap that through the chenille and it will just kind of preen itself back just like all those woolly buggers you see in the store bins. So once I get up here, just one full turn in front of the chenille. We'll tie that down. Before I trim it off, I'm just gonna pull all those fibers back and maybe get a few turns of thread right here. And now I'll get rid of it. All right, a few more turns of hackle. And as you can see, the head on this is is just minuscule. It's just a, a tiny little head. All right, so as you can see, we've got a woolly bugger with the right length of tail. The hackle tapers back perfectly. The hackle's not too big, it's not too small. And, you know, you can come in here after the fact and you can get in here and like free up some of those chenille pieces that kind of got trapped down or whatever. But, you know, you can make the woolly bugger as easy or as difficult as you want. But this is one way to tie it so that it looks perfect every single time.